Hey guys, I wanted to check out the performance of Android 4.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Before I actually start, I do want to mention this is a leak of Android 4.3. It hasn't been officially released yet, so there still may be some changes on the official build. Nonetheless, it is blazingly fast on the Galaxy S4. That's probably more due to the fact that we've actually just got rid of TouchWiz. But you can see here the menus and everything, the UI is buttery smooth as you'd expect. And you know, the 1.9 GHz Snapdragon 600 processor really does make everything fly. I'm just going to dive into the settings here because a lot of people were asking me about RAM usage. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you that. So here we go. We'll go into the running. And at the bottom here, you can see right now it's using 626, six, yeah, 626 megabytes used and 1.2 gigabytes free. Now, I can tell you that is a lot lower than what we had in TouchWiz. I think TouchWiz used about... 900 to a gigabyte of um, of RAM so you can see that the stock Android is a lot lighter in terms of RAM usage than the TouchWiz which is pretty obvious because TouchWiz has all those extra features I'm just gonna uh, whoops I'm just gonna go into my multitasking here and close everything out you see I did have quite a lot of stuff open so if we uh, if we check out the RAM usage now it probably is actually a little bit lower than what I just showed you but let's have a look and yeah, it's down into the 580s, so lower if you have no apps, pretty obvious. And yeah, now let's check out some of the app opening speeds, and it really is fast here, so just note how quick and how smooth it is. It's so much faster and snappier than what we had on TouchWiz, and I will do a comparison with my Nexus 4, but I can tell you it definitely does feel faster, which is pretty obvious considering, you know, we have a 1.9 gigahertz Snapdragon in here versus the 1.5. You can see once the stuff's in memory, it is basically instant. So really good performance from stock Android on the Galaxy S4. Next up, we'll test out some benchmarks. So I've run the Quadrant benchmark and you can see the score right here. We'll zoom in so we can see it a little bit clearer. Wait for the focus. And there we go, 12,121. Now I can tell you that's pretty much the same as what we got on TouchWiz. Now Quadrant hasn't been updated in God knows how long. So, you know, we're not gonna take that one too seriously, but we'll move on to probably a more reliable benchmark, which is Antutu. So here we go with the Antutu results and you can see it scores 26,333, which I can tell you is quite a big increase on what it was getting beforehand. So if I just submit this, you can check this out. My actual highest I've got on Android 4.3 was actually 27,000, so we're obviously a little bit below that. But nonetheless, if we check the chart, this Galaxy S4 is actually the octa-core variant, which you can see right here, 4 plus 4 architecture with the PowerVR GPU. And if we compare it, firstly, we're, we're a lot closer than where we were before. I think I've actually got an image in my gallery that showed an N22 of... TouchWiz, you can see here, this was the highest result I got of 24,506, so we're quite a bit higher than that. So there's definitely an improvement in the N22 score if we quickly dive back into this. Another thing to note is the GPU, and this is what I was saying, Android 4.3 seems to have better GPU performance. You can actually see it here in both the 2D and 3D tests. It's beating out the Power VR in the Octa-Core, which is actually meant to be a stronger GPU than the Adreno 320. So you can check those out. Definitely big increases in the uh, GPU on Android 4.3, which is pretty awesome to see. And the Snapdragon 600 is right up there with the Octa-Core variant, which is another good thing to see. So yeah. Lastly, we've got the 3D Mark scores. You can see if I zoom in here, we've got OS version 4.3. If we check out graphics test 1 and 2, you can see in number 1 we got 53.9 FPS, in graphics test 2 we got 50.9. If I back out a little bit here, I've got a screenshot of what I scored on TouchWiz 4.2.2. You can see that right here, 4.2.2. Graphics test 1, 50.4. Graphics test 2, 48. Point one, which is pretty much going with the averages for the Galaxy S4. So you can definitely see that in Android 4.3, we are getting much higher FPS, even though, you know, it's just down to the code. So they've definitely done something in terms of the optimization for the GPU. We're getting four or five FPS higher than what we're getting on TouchWiz on 4.2.2. So definitely a good job there by Google in terms of GPU performance. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can show you in terms of the performance on Android 4.3. Peace out.